Hi, I'm Phylum. Welcome to the show. Today, watching a map from the grand final of a recent duped Diabolical Duel tournament, uh, we've got two titans of Quake Live here. Cypher, Agent. Um, so what I'm going to be expecting to see on a map like this, this is Perilous, by the way, if you can't tell from this still. Uh, Perilous, a, a map with a lot of corridors, a lot of corners, a lot of awkward places you can get caught out, and, uh, you know, the Mega Room, there are lots of ways you can damage the Mega, lots of fights you can peek, especially at the top of the map. The Red Armor, very, very powerful to position yourself onto out of control, because you can hear your opponent coming, and there are lots of options for backing away. Um, so an out of control player, you can usually see setting up at red. And I think both of these guys are going to be very aware of that, but they're also going to be very aware that you're playing into a lot of aim potentially from your opponent. So Cypher, um, you know, really amazing at double back unexpected damage, right? He'll, he'll come back into the room and just completely mess you up when you don't expect him to. He's good at staying alive, he's good at being tricky, he's going to bring some creative angles and just some really good fights to Agent, uh, when Agent may not necessarily expect it. And especially on this map, I think Cypher will be able to put himself in places where he catches Agent off guard. Agent, on the other hand, uh, he's been called the European Rafa, which is an interesting comparison. Uh, he's a strong item player, I think he's going to be approaching this very positionally, and I think he'll have to, to contend with the strong aim of Cypher. So, uh, let's not talk too much. I haven't watched this game yet, and let's see where this spawn comes out. It looks like we're going to be on Cypher's point of view. Awesome. So, spawn mega side. Uh, if you watched my last video, <laughs> which was a duel from my point of view, I talk about how weird mega side spawns can be. Um, what do you do with Cypher here, right? You have mega, which is good, but what gun do you get, right? Now, my gut feeling on this is maybe get mega and rush to rocket, or get mega and rush to LG. Uh, what? Okay, so Cypher's going to go for this blue, which isn't quite what I hope to see. Blue and Mega, and yeah, that gives Agent the opportunity to come in and pressure from that side. Cypher, that's a pretty huge knockback on that melee. So, from this situation, right, the problem is that Cypher didn't have a gun to defend himself. He's able to waste a bit of Agent's time, but not enough that he can just sit on this red off of the respawn. And it looks like Agent's going to control everything, right? He got red, he got, uh, he got the yellow, he damaged the Mega... That's pretty huge to then also, yeah, Cypher probably shouldn't be here. Agent messes up his movement and gets a shot out of it. Perfect. Um, but yeah, just you can't get much worse of a start than that. And I think it's definitely part of not having a rocket launcher next to your item. Uh, and and it's, it's an interesting dynamic on this map. So I'm not sure if Cypher, you know, Cypher probably could have played it differently, but I'm not sure if it's kind of a lost cause. This is a cool position for Cypher right here, okay? Agent has everything, he's powering around the map, he wants to get over to this yellow side and stop Cypher getting it cleanly. Cypher, as I was saying at the start of the video, he's somewhere that Agent just doesn't expect, and he's somewhere where he can punish Agent for doing the thing that he wants to do. Now, Cypher's copped a really bad rocket there, uh, so no amount of good movement, of good dodging is going to get him out, but it definitely feels like a good situation for Cypher, and it looks like, yeah, Agent is happy to just completely give up that red armor, right? He could have gone straight to that red, but they would have been pretty much on even terms, and, well, honestly, there's no real incentive for Agent to have a big fight at red. With that yellow armor, he's already back at an advantage. This doorway is going to be hotly contended, and in every duel on Perilous, this doorway, this, this passageway up here, is critical. Mega's coming, Cypher off of red, could have rocket jumped, he could be setting up to, you know, defend Mega. Uh, Agent really doesn't want to just take a lot of damage coming through here. And I'm a bit surprised that Cypher uh, isn't set up. It probably means that Cypher took the opportunity to take Pinsir. Uh, because sometimes, you know, just having the guns, having the right weaponry, is way more important than actually uh, having the items. So Cypher, he's there at that red, and then he's just gone, right? He knows that he's at a big stack disadvantage, or not necessarily a huge stack disadvantage, but, you know, you don't want to be uh, stuck in a bad situation there. He just hits the shot and vanishes, and that's that's a good strength of Cypher. Sometimes he's like a ghost, right? A ghost that hits insane direct rockets. Uh, so Cypher's got himself a lot of armor. It's good, and he actually might have an advantage in a fight. The problem is the agent's already got this high ground, and agent waits perfectly there to see Cypher exit that red. So not only does agent open himself up to get the shot, which he doesn't hit, but that's fine, but he gets the exact time of that red armor, and that's going to be critical. So he knows that he has loads of time to get over to red right now. Uh, looking for the shot up high on Cypher, that's fine. He might... Oh, Cypher actually drops down there. And I really like this as well, because Cypher can be kind of a thorn in agent's side as this red's coming. And Cypher is hitting like a beast. Cypher has a yellow armor to back away to here, right? And actually hits so much that Agent loses his nerve and backs away. So not only uh, does Cypher win that red, he also can actually get to the high ground first and get better set up for Mega. 
and that's exactly what we're going to see. Agent just playing the back of the map. Red's going to be coming. He doesn't want to push in, especially not from this position. Uh, because, well, it's it's really easy to take a lot of damage pushing in. Uh, the way Cypher fought around that pillar before, like from the side that I was just saying is weaker, it's so brilliant. I, I really love it. Awesome. So Agent uh, with the yellow armor doesn't have a bad stack, right? And that's going to be so important here. Cypher up the bounce pad, better entrance damage. Agent can hit a bit of LG on the way down. And if Agent survives this, he's actually done well, right? I, I, he, I mean, two frags up, you know, he has the advantage, he has all the guns. You can't sometimes have to worry a little bit, but Cypher already had full control. I don't think Agent's going to lose anything, just playing slow and holding on to what he has here. And critically what he has, you know, just like the power of having the three main guns goes such a long way. Okay, so Agent, uh, he seems to have a pretty good sense of where he wants to be. Red isn't quite up yet, so he takes the opportunity to stack up on the health over this side of the map. And then he's just playing on the bottom of the map, right? He isn't in a contentious spot. He isn't in a position where Cypher will probably be powering around trying to control the items. He's out of the way and he's quiet. So uh, when you're out of control, right, on this map, you can get a lot just by setting up early at this red. Because if you know your opponent's just left the room, like, the red armor's going to be coming up. And especially if you know your opponent's just gone from red to take mega, well, red armor's going to be the next item up. Now, Agent doesn't get a really powerful catch there, and so he's just going to back away and maintain all of the stack that he has. And this is good. Uh, if he picks a fight at the top of the map here, it's a very good time, because any damage he takes can be negated by going back and picking up that yellow armor. And this is exactly what we're going to see. Agent looking for Cypher to maybe try and cut him off from that armor. Because uh, Agent, I, you know, he doesn't know the exact time of that mega. But So he's able to collect yellow, those shards, you know, that's an extra 20 armor. Never underestimate that. And now he doesn't do the predictable thing of just charging into red. Cypher would expect that. Cypher would probably be able to make good damage on him. And Agent, you know, if he, especially if he eats a bad bounce and ends up in an awkward position, would just be giving up a frag potentially. So he's doing a good job, right? He's he's maintained 100, 150 for the last, what, two minutes? And he's just waiting for Cypher to make a rocket jump here, basically, uh, which Cypher finally does. So Agent, all that waiting, all that patience pays off. He's able to get some damage, not a lot, and uh, not enough that he's really going to feel confident challenging one of these major items. But again, Agent's ahead, right? There's no real incentive to get a frag right now. He makes a push here onto Cypher, damages him while he's taking Mega. Now, he gets the damage before the Mega. Um, it wears a lot of Cypher's armor off. It's, it's a fairly decent push as long as he gets onto this red and survives, and he doesn't survive. Uh, so, maybe hoping to catch Cypher a little bit before that Mega, or maybe hoping to catch him right on the exit so that it messed up his movement a bit more. Um, but either way, committing to the red off of that, I think it was the right move, because if you look, Cypher is left on basically no stack. Um... And potentially Agent could catch him out off of his spawn. Again, he needs a rocket launcher. And if he gets back into red, the next fight at red is going to be pretty close, right? Cypher can choose right now. Does he want to get a yellow and get position? Or does he want to actually challenge this red? And he's actually going to come through the bottom of the map, gets more than a red armor's worth of armor from that. I don't necessarily like taking this teleporter. I feel like this puts him out of position. But also, maybe timing a little bit better than I am here. That wouldn't surprise me at all. Um... Because he's he he, he uh, chases Agent away. Agent backs off onto that Mega. This has gone reasonably well for Agent, but still in a fight, you massively, massively favor Cypher. I'm not totally sure if Agent was able to get a pincer in all that. Uh, Agent's going to be fighting at the top of the map. That's not a place you want to get caught unless you're like actually winning Mega and there's no Mega to win. So again, Agent as the weakest act player, he's just out. Red's going to be coming, Cypher moving around quietly, hoping Agent pokes his head out and exposes himself, because, yeah, what Cypher really wants is a nice clean catch, right? He doesn't want a messy frag, uh, he, he doesn't want to be leaving himself vulnerable after the frag. I like this position for Agent, I think there's a lot of potential to get good rocket damage from above there, especially if you know your opponent's coming in low. Cypher hits like a truck, uh, very, very good for him. So Agent, again, like, he has to respond to this, right? Because sometimes your opponent does just mess you up with aim. Uh, and I think there's a lot more to say about that situation than just Cypher messing him up with aim, but the important thing is that Agent is reactive. He doesn't come off the back of that and say, oh, actually, you know, I want to try and win red or something. He's conservative. I like that rocket jump for Cypher. Um, if your opponent's stuck spamming a rocket, like, Cypher rocket jumps the second he sees him. He doesn't hesitate. So that first spam rocket, 
agent's still going to be reloading. Cypher's able to land before he can get another rocket off. Uh, it really is a strong message to agent that this is not a place you want to be. And again, I'm not expecting Agent to be too heavy here. Uh, he does come by for a, a pincer shot, and that's nice. Like, sometimes when you've been very passive and you just appear at an item, you know, it catches your opponent off guard. But the trade, it's not particularly good for Agent. Cypher gets a lot of damage here. Agent with a strong rocket as Cypher drops down, and again, I think that's a really important one to hit because it's going to stop Cypher just rolling over the map with a stack here. Uh, I feel like... Mega and Red are going to be fairly close, and that works well for Agent, because as long as he plays it quiet, Cypher basically has to guess, or he just has to commit to one, right? But again, Cypher with Mega and Yellow is going to come out so far ahead. And Cypher knows the next item up is going to be this Red, Red and Mega collected basically at the same time. Cypher in the strongest position on the map, in my opinion. There's no way Agent can push into this room without taking damage. And so Agent just doesn't push into the room. He might be looking for Cypher to rocket jump. Uh, and I really like that Cypher has very clean movement going through the bottom of the map here. Gets here very quickly. Doesn't even care about the spam rocket from above. Waits. And that's a really calculated wait. Okay, Cypher sits back. He lets Agent back away. And then he jumps forward to hit the rail because he knows that Agent is going to be backing away through this door. That's a very deliberate timing thing. That's a very deliberate spacing thing. And the kind of play that Cypher's amazing at, right? Making a move based on exactly where he knows his opponent will be standing. Uh, so the trades here, they come out better for Cypher, because Cypher has a mega to back onto. I like coming in here for this rail. Doesn't amount to anything, but even looking for the shot is powerful. And yeah, Cypher, just with that really good read on where Agent would be going, uh, again, that, that timing that I said about, gets himself full control again. So Cypher, really hungry to pull himself into the lead here. Good opening rail. Again, Agent can trade these shots, but it's going to take more than one traded rail for Agent to get anywhere. Uh, these trades just are brilliant for Cypher. Cypher waiting, somehow Agent gets so much damage up close. Cypher knows he has to close it, and, and really important to be able to actually close that frack out. If Agent got away alive, that would have been devastating. Agent able to respawn onto the Mega there, and that might have actually been a calculated time to rush, right? Like, if Agent knew that he could respawn onto that Mega... Sure, maybe he's just hurt Cypher's control in a, in a reasonable way, uh, but in this situation, I don't think that's likely, because Cypher still gets that yellow, and Agent, uh, he won't have Pinsir, I don't think. Which, you know, is a fairly big deal, uh, as long as he doesn't get this red for free, right? Cypher, he's taking a little while to get over here. And Cypher gives him away the red. So, I'm not totally sure why that, that happened, why that played out like that. Maybe just acknowledging that Agent had the stronger position, there was no way Cypher could get into the room without taking damage. Um, because if you take damage at red, and your opponent gets red, like, if they actually win the damage as well, then you're basically just saying, well, I'm gonna have a harder fight at Mega. Sometimes you might just say, I'm gonna hold on to my stack, and try and catch my opponent out, and that seems like what Cypher's tried to do, but uh, Agent's just gotten the better drop there, and he's gotten into the high position first. Cypher looking for as much damage as he can onto this Mega. Anything he hits is good. Really brilliant rocket at the end there. Uh, Agent does come away stronger from this, and again, critically has that red armor to back away to, right? Agent just ending up closer to that armor. So uh, Agent really winning out overall, despite everything Cypher could hit. And Cypher, he's hoping for that corner rocket, right? He's in a place where... You know, he, he's caught between a rock and a hard place, but if Agent really tried to push him here, Cypher could trade very good damage. Apart from the fact he's low on ammo, uh, really good bounce there, good catch. I love that Agent is pressuring that blue armor, of course, because, you know, it's, it's something your opponent out of control really wants. Cypher actually, uh, you know, hits well enough there that he gets himself the Mega, which is huge. Again, I think that's one of those situations where Agent knows, well, there's no real need to push it, right? He's, uh, I mean, he's, he is behind in frags, but he's going to maintain a stack advantage even if he doesn't trade. If he tries to trade there and takes a rail and doesn't hit one in return, then he will be at a disadvantage. So I think really good big picture thinking from Agent. Because uh, the next frag is going to go a long way, right? The next frag could potentially win the game for Cypher uh, if, if this pace kind of keeps up. And... You know, it could put Agent in a situation where he could win the game as well. If it's a nice clean frag and, and he capitalizes, you know, like a minute and a half out of uh, the absolute latest time for Golden Frag. Ooh. 
Really great rocket. Cypher is caught between a rock and a hard place here. Bounced away from the teleporter. Has to try and make as much damage as he can. It's a lot of damage, but he does go down in the end. Um, and man, those close range rockets, right? Like Diabolical, it's a really hard game to get a clean frag because of how the rockets work at the moment. Agent pushes in. He takes about as much machine gun damage as you could ever hope to deal out. Um, but it it's not enough to stop him. Cypher looking to be in a pretty rough spot right now. Uh, he's not going to have an LG, he might have the pincer, Agent even denies him the blue armor, and this is the uh, the timing I was saying about, right? Agent's timing is so strong, you know, not only on the, the Mega and the Red, like, he knows how to deny these armors and how much he can get away with. That trade's okay for Cypher, um, you know, like, hitting the rail is good, Agent not able to probably connect with quite as much LG as he'd hoped, but Agent just able to come around and deny the yellow as well, this blue comes up, and Cypher stuck, uh, oh, let me, let me just run the stream a little bit more so we don't get stuck with that weird no-clip view. Cypher, um, just, hold on, I, I want to rewatch that. I'm going to, I'm going to rewind the clock. Hold on. Let's just go back a little. Let's go back, let's, let's go from here, okay? Um, so the damage trade comes out, Cypher hits a rail, which is more than Agent had done to him, but Agent has the yellow armor, and Cypher... See, he looks at that rail, but then he has nowhere to really go. The natural thing is to back away through the teleporter. He tries to get cute and LG agent as he's backing away. Agent gets the perfect bounce, plus the uh, the pincer shot. That's what sets up the frag. So, you know, I like the idea from Cypher, and I think he was definitely feeling under the pump. But you, you just can't account for a beautiful bounce like that. Um, interesting as well here. Uh, agent taking 200 extra damage compared to what Cypher dealt. So that, that seems like a fairly significant amount of, like, rocket jumps or whatever. Um, but yeah, Cypher winning the damage. Agent, once he had control, did a really good job of denying armors or just, you know, making sure he was he was at the blue armor and the yellow armor. Cypher had a fairly good sense of that as well. Um, I really loved watching Cypher there, and, you know, game absolutely down to the wire. If you played out that last situation 20 or 100 times, you know, Agent only gets the frag in a very few situations, right? It's a very specific uh, array of things. So that was a really wonderful game. I hope you enjoyed watching it. I enjoyed talking about it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I've been Phylum, and I'll catch you next time.